What is intuition? The Latin origin of intuition denotes spiritual insight or immediate spiritual communication. Dr. Marx Tarlow suggests that intuition has five characteristics to it. So like a vortex of wind, sudden recognition appears first as a cellular knowing awakened in the gut or the heart. Dr. Braden reports that every human heart has 40,000 or so specialized cells that create a neural network in the heart. It's actually called the little brain in the heart. So it is that we dance ourselves from our hearts to our brains and back again to create heart coherence into gnosis, joining the cosmology of flow in symphonic movement of immediate knowledge, a knowing that bursts forth like the wind forming an umbilical lemniscate between the exhalation of oxygen from the trees and our own inhalation from their out breath. We become intrigued or entrained with nature through our breath. In this way, emergent awareness becomes rooted in nonverbal insight birthing what Marx Tarlow calls holistic integrative sensibility, or what I like to refer to as a sort of sensorial gnosis. So how does it work? When knowing arises out of our depths, it demands symbiosis, often birthing through the entrainment of our senses in concert with the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. After all, our very bodies are made of stardust. Were we to dance our authenticity as the composite of the stardust that our bodies are comprised of, we might find beyond the physicality of our corporeal selves that our spiritual essence, our very soul, mirrors itself within our cells as a sort of infinity mirror gazing back onto itself. A psychic fractal carrying infinite potentialities of consciousness within each particle, each atom, each of the smallest parts, a mirror of the making of the whole. Intuition then becomes the midwife of consciousness. Gnosis in motion yields change harmonious integration of self into capital S self and capital S self interwoven with nature. A dance ensues following a matrix of fractal knowingness, fractal awareness as patterns emerge echoing within and around us. So what is a fractal? A fractal is a never ending infinitely complex pattern. Fractals are self similar across different scales, from the minute to the very large, the parts and echo of the whole. And these patterns are often nested one into the next into the next. Fractal thinking demands that we notice and cherish the relationship between the small and the large. Fractals repeat as a pattern within a pattern within a pattern. In this way, fractals challenge us to consider our perspective, our point of view as, as only one among many. Perhaps fractals help us to remain humble as we gaze upon the universe in complete synchronicity and synergy, not only in an as above, so below manner, but also between ourselves and nature, a sort of multiplicity of being. So then, perhaps healing is derived from fractal intuition? When we enter into a conversation with a client, the sum of the parts becomes greater than either personality or person, so that the power between our two beings yields a sacred third, an energy of greater potentiality than either party might have manifested alone. 
Dr. Mark Starlow suggests that intuition requires exactly this and three other components as well. She suggests intuition is bottom up, generated from the intersubjective field between the client and the therapist. She suggests that intuition has a sense of whole to the parts where the camera pans out for a moment and we see the problem or the event in a wider context. She suggests a transcendent pattern can be detected. And lastly, recursive structures abound. Fractal patterns are revealed within this wider context and can easily be rendered a symbol of that which is going on internally, not only in your client, but in yourself. In this way, Marx Tarlow suggests the fractal epistemology in therapy requires a small event moving toward understanding where multiple patterns are shown at differing levels. She suggests ambiguity shores up complexity and is where the relationship then births forth. The client and therapist share a mutual boundary which is permeable and flexes as unconscious realizations are brought into conscious awareness. Healing occurs between therapist and client within one or the other and often for both.